So hey there everyone, Ryan with Dark Winter Moon. Uh, just wanted to say a quick few words this week about um, oaths and why in witchcraft we make them and how we make them. Um, I guess the best way is for me to start with my own personal story with oaths um, and my own personal opinion about them. I um, if, if you've ever been in a coven or a working group, oftentimes there are oaths um, that you um, will swear um, about your commitments to the group and what you hope to accomplish. Uh, oftentimes the case is also true with um, if you meet a teacher in the craft, someone that's teaching you, oftentimes they will ask you to uh, submit to an oath, to swear an oath, or if and when you decide to work with a deity, then oftentimes they will ask you to swear an oath. Um, thus is the case with uh, my journey with Apollo. Um, in a previous video, I talked about how I started on my journey with him, what led to it, um, and I'll link that right up here. Um, so you can take a look at that if you haven't seen it. Uh, but basically, when I started out with him, he asked me to commit an oath to him uh, for a year and a day. Um, a year and a day is their traditional time in witchcraft um, to commit to something. Um, and you may ask, why did he ask me to commit to that? Well, that literally is what it is. It's a commitment. Um, it's another way that you can show that you're serious about your objectives. In my case, uh, that it was no different with my oath to Apollo. Um, and I kept that commitment. And in return, um, Apollo uh, communed with me, taught me, um, sent me dreams, sent me visions. Um, I got a lot out of my meditation with him and there is an open heartedness to, um, a good oath for lack of a better word that, that is required, I feel like. And, um, intent as with most things in witchcraft, uh, is very important and an oath is no different, um, in, in this regard, an oath is magic. It is a magical tying together of two entities. Um, so that's what I did. I swore an oath to Apollo. And it, uh, something else to think about with oaths is they're not one-sided. Um, so what I got in return was um, a, a commitment from him to continue to work with me and teach me for that year and a day. Um, and in some ways, the rest is history. After I completed that year and a day, um, I did uh, a ceremony in thanks for his time and decided to recommit um, indefinitely and am still committed. Uh, and my relationship has continued to grow. Another way oaths come into play in the craft is when you meet a, a human teacher. Um, oftentimes, you'll also be asked to swear an oath, uh, and oftentimes for a year and a day. Um, and again, it's a way to show your commitment. Um, so how do you swear an oath? Well, I have my way of doing that, and usually it is, first of all, meditation, careful thought about what our goals are in the, um, in the partnership that we're swearing to and um, what we hope to get out of it, basically, um, and to work together to form, forge an agreement with one another about what that looks like. So this often culminates in some sort of ceremony of commitment. Um, you are often asked to write out that commitment uh, in a form. Uh, some people do it as a spell where it rhymes, others just simply write it out free form. Both of those are acceptable. Uh, and generally, you do the swearing of the oath in front of witnesses, whether it's simply in a circle 
if you're with your deity or if you're swearing to your deity, if you open a circle, you're swearing with them and before them and before the powers that you've called into your circle. Um, and um, very similar if you are swearing an oath to a teacher. Uh, generally, they'll uh, dictate some of the terms of how that circle looks like, and um, but it, it's a very similar experience. You're swearing to them in front of them and also in front of the powers. And so when you do the swearing of an oath with that magical intent involved and in front of those witnesses, it holds you to it. Um, and as well it should. When you step into an oath arrangement with a being, a deity, or a person, you should first of all be very clear about what that oath entails and also be absolutely certain that you're willing to commit to that oath for as long as you have stated that you will. Um, so what happens if you break an oath? Well, again, that could also be stated in the oath, what happens if you break it. Um, it's different for each situation. From my own personal experience, bless the gods, I haven't actually ever broken an oath intentionally. I have created a minor infraction of oaths before, um, or of an oath before, I can think of one time, and because it wasn't intentional, um, I was able to go to Apollo, it was Apollo in this case, um, and say to him, I am so sorry, and I was, I was very contrite, and he's like, I get it, it happens. Um, do X thing in repayment. So um, I had to give an extra offering um, to satisfy the violation of, or the infraction on the oath. But if you do blatantly go against an oath that you sw have sworn, um, I would say that you would face karmic uh, repercussions. That would be my theoretical guess as what to what would happen. Um, you, it could be as simple as starting to have bad luck, or depending on the nature of the oath, um, a certain thing um, that you swore that you would do may may keep coming up for you synchronistically, or you may dream. You know, it also depends on the, the deity or being you've sworn to, what, what their nature is and, and what they will require. Um, but yeah, kind of, I believe that if you break an oath knowingly and defiantly, um, that in good faith you have sworn, then the consequences can be pretty dire. Um, so just, just think carefully before you s swear an oath. Breaking an oath is very much like uh, a magical spell done with the wrong intentions. Um, it'll rebound on you um, because in many ways, an oath is a spell, it is magic. Um, you know, not in many ways, it is a spell, it is magic. I correct myself on that. Um, so yeah, just again, be firm and secure and certain about what you um, swear that it is possible for you and that it is something that you will hold to. So to sum it up, an oath is a magical spell. It's a commitment that you make magically in front of witnesses, human and otherwise, to beings, human and otherwise. So be clear on your intent and be clear on the time frame and make sure it's the best thing to do for you. The rewards to swearing an oath are, are great. Um, you get the feeling of knowing you've accomplished something that was difficult and hard. Um, you get rewarded from the being that you, or the person that you've sworn to by gaining something in return, usually their wisdom and training uh, that they can impart to you. You swear an oath by first writing it out, um, writing out what you want to accomplish, brainstorming on it, spending time communing or conversate or having conversations with the person or deity or being that you're wanting to commit to to make sure you're both clear on what this oath looks like in the time frame and then you go before 
the gods and the powers that be in magical space and you swear the commitment before them and swear to abide by it. Intent is important. Intent is everything. Clarity is important. And breaking an oath, the consequences are karmic and they will be very much as if you um, cast a spell that was done in bad faith or done for the wrong intentions. If you break a spell or if you break an oath, it will come back on you. So be very mindful. Um, well, there it is. That is uh, pretty much all I have for this week. Um, I would love the likes and subscribes, uh, comments, questions. Um, you can also find me on Instagram uh, at dark.winter.moon. My website is darkwintermoon.boston and I will link all of that below. Um, well, you have a wonderful weekend and um, blessed be.